What is going on guys? My name is Griffin, but you can call me Griff and welcome back to Apex Legends. It has been about, I don't know, 10 days, 11, 12 days since I've actually been here at the setup here in the flesh. Uh, I was in Oregon for like a long time, just kind of exploring the world. Um, I posted some pictures on Instagram. Check me out the handle below if you want to see what else I was posting as well as some stuff on TikTok about the trip. So make sure to follow me on those to see what to see what I was doing. Just gonna hop into some trios here, and I'm probably gonna talk about the trip and some other things while we're playing. Oh my god, the Ring Fury trios is over. Oh my god, I forgot that was a game mode that I had to play for two weeks. We're at, we get to play the game normally again. I'm so happy. Oregon has got to be the prettiest state I have ever set foot in. I love it. Oh, so very much. It was such such a blast. Um, basically, just went hiking like probably seven eight days whether it was in the forests or on the coast the oregon coast was probably my favorite one i loved every moment of that entire thing actually i didn't love every moment because the first half of that hike you have to it's at an incline like this fucking high i just was so sad i, I i'm not in good enough shape to hike two and a half miles up a hill the end of it in the middle are the best parts because you get to see this dope ass view like of, of the coast and the lighthouse and I loved it. And then you get a hike back down the mountain with views of the coast, which is pretty badass, I'm gonna be honest. I feel absolutely useless, by the way. This is going to be the most average gameplay. Not even, I. if I even get to kill someone during this, I would be shocked, I'm gonna be honest. If I even get a kill, because I am, I haven't, I haven't touched, this feels weird touching a controller for the first time in 10 days. But yeah, basically we were just, like I said, hiking basically the entire trip, just experiencing the state. Um, as much as we could. Um, I was limited to kind of the coast of Pacific Ocean area and a little south of uh, Portland. Oregon's a huge state and I had no idea that it was this big. Like to get it, like what I wanted to do, there is what I've bucket list for me is go to Crater Lake, which was six hours from where I was. And yeah, that's just a trip I didn't really feel like making that we didn't want to make. If we went there, we'd have to spend a few days there at least. Um, to experience that but Oregon's just a big ass state dude Thanks. and it's just like I didn't expect that because where I'm from you can get to anywhere in the state maximum two hours two and a half hours going to Oregon and having to like travel six hours to get across the state I was like that's a thing like I said I posted a bunch of pictures on um, my socials and I posted a TikTok on my trip too as well so make sure to follow me there to not miss that but let me tell you guys something getting to this place was an absolute nightmare and what I mean by that is the flight delays and, and layovers that I had were just so, just so bad. So the original flight was fly to Chicago. That was like an hour, hour and a half. Fly from there almost right after to Portland, which was a four hour flight. So good and split out, right? Pretty good. So our flight was at 8 a.m. We get on the plane. 10 minutes go by. I'm like, hey, we got to deboard. Uh, there's some, there's some things happening at Chicago. We can't, we can't. We can't be flying you guys in there right now. There's some weather. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. We're like, shit, we're going to miss our connecting flight. So the only flight available that we had was to not only fly to Charlotte, which is completely out of the way, but wait till noon. So we had to sit in the airport for like three to four more hours just to fly to Charlotte and then have a three to four hour layover in Charlotte just to get to Portland by, I think we landed at like 930 and I'm on Eastern time. So that's basically midnight. So I was, I mean, by the time we, all things were said and done, we were done hanging out and stuff by the time we all got there, I was up for 25 hours. It was awful, dude. Absolutely terrible, just disgusting way to travel that day. It was just, it, it, it sucked. But on the way back, it was the exact same flight, Portland to Chicago, Chicago to home, and didn't have a problem the entire trip. Like, everything was smooth. Nothing went wrong. Let me tell you the story of how I almost killed a dog while I was on this trip. I had some beef with this with this animal. I'm gonna be completely honest. Some uh, serious okay. beef. The person that we stayed with, they'd let their dog sleep in their bed, but they let us have their bed so that my buddy and I could, you know, sleep in it. So the dog, I think, was pissed about that the entire trip that, hey, I have to sleep on a, I don't get to sleep in this bed, this comfortable bed anymore with my owner. Like, what is this shit? So me and this dog would have beef. Give me some disrespectful looking eyes. Wouldn't let me pet him sometimes. He just was, he was very petty about the situation. I mean, it's not like he was biting me or like being mean, but he just like wouldn't, he wouldn't, he just wasn't really like, for lack of a better word, I'm gonna die here. 
ready. It's zip line time. Oh, well, this is... Um, I'm good. I think I'm okay with uh, losing that one. <clears throat> so anyways, me and this dog were beefing. Basically the entire trip, like low key. But like he'd like low key be nice to me sometimes, because only only when I you know when he'd try to get my food, he'd whimper and all that stuff that dogs always do. So we go to this this like Japanese market right in in, in Portland, and we pick up some like Japanese snacks. It was like a Japanese supermarket. And it was pretty cool, you know, a bunch of stuff that I've never seen before. And I grabbed, you know, I grabbed. I, I couldn't even describe to you how long this thing was, but it was like a container like this like this long. Like this big, not like not that big, but it was like it was pretty long, and it was just like biscuits, right? But they were filled with caramel, and I ate one of them on the way back from the market. So there were five left in the container. I also got uh, mochi ice cream, which I'll put a picture on screen if you've never seen that before. But it's like these kind of like these like little kind of like uh, 3D, they're like cubes, like low key cubes of like chocolate ice cream. It's just I think I don't really understand like how it's different from regular ice cream because I never got to eat them. You want to know why? I left my snacks. This is what I was told to do. So this living room, there were two chairs. And this is a little pug, by the way. There are two chairs. And we were told, put our snacks on these chairs. He's not going to jump up and get them. So me and my friend put our snacks on both chairs, right? That's what we're supposed to do. We leave for 30 minutes and come back to run to an errand or something. I forget what we were doing. We come back. We come back. And this dude absolutely trashed my entire, like, grocery store trip. This little pug ate all of my food. He ate, my, he ate five, like, rolls with caramel stuff in them. My entire mochi ice cream container, which there were six of them in there. But yeah, so I come back and this dude ate all my mochi ice cream. He ate <clears throat> all of my biscuits. All the stuff I bought. And did I mention that the ice cream was chocolate? Which, like, that's a no-no for dogs. That's, a, that's just a no-no. So, this dude has to go to the vet. And this is the best part of the entire story, in my opinion. This little fat fuck... When they like made him vomit at the vet, he literally vomited the entire mochi ice cream in whole. He did not chew. He did not savor the taste. This little pug inhaled them. He was not messing around. <laughs> He's like, I never get to eat like this. He literally went full Kirby and was like, <laughs> See, I almost killed the dog, but you know, whose fault is that really? Is it mine? Or is it this pug's just tenacity? to get anything that he could eat. I don't know. Setting a fence. I just did just don't want to deal with it. Like I just don't see the I, I don't see the point of even trying to 1v3 that. I'm not I'm like I'm not mad. I'm not upset. I just don't even want, like, I'm literally would be wasting time trying to fight that. There's just, there's literally no point. There's no benefit of me getting absolutely dogged by three guys. What did he say? Oh. The hikes we went on were Ecola State Park. We went to Silver Falls State Park, Trail of Ten Falls. That's all I can really remember. Well, oh, they are literally gatekeeping us. You got that, man. I'm good. <laughs> there's just, it's just, there's not a point, bro. Like, if they're just gonna sit there and gatekeep, like, you, they have better position, and we're in the storm, and there's two of us. Like, I'm not gonna waste my time. You just throw me in another game. I don't want to give them a kill for literally no reason. They don't deserve it. As far as I'm concerned, I'm petty as shit. You don't like that. I know you didn't. I have 21 light bullets left. That's tragic. That's what that was. Oh, they have a free win right there. <laughs> There's your free win, gents. <laughs> but I'm going to call it there. It's a good hour to Apex for me, even though it's my first my first games back in days and I hit a Kraber shot so I'm feeling good about that I hit, I hit one or two 
But if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to drop a like. I'd really appreciate it. My socials will be flying across the bottom of your screen. My Twitter, my TikTok, and my Instagram. Make sure to check those socials out. I was posting pictures. I'll post some pictures today as well from my trip if you want to see those. And of course, if you enjoyed your time here, make sure to subscribe. The growth has been crazy on the YouTube channel as of late. I'm really appreciative of that. So good evening, good morning, good night, whenever you're watching. Thank you so much. My name's Griff, and I'm out.